What up, everybody? This is Katie. Katie Boom coming at ya. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just wanted to um give a uh, video games pickups that I picked up in the last week. Um. Yeah. I only stopped at one place and I got a whole crap load of GameCube games for a really good price. Like when I saw the games, I was like, Oh, what? And I was like so shocked that I found these games. I'm like, Well, how much are they? Because his PS2 games and his Xbox games are like three bucks each, so I was hoping that they would be three dollars each. But then he said five dollars, so I I got some anyway. Um, I got like a big stack of them, as you can see. And yeah, um, I'm excited to show you what I have. Um, so this happened about ah, uh, this happened about a week ago, and I uh, found these games. So I'm gonna show you the first game. It's uh, Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters. It is complete, but it is player's choice. But, I mean, I've never really seen this game, Godzilla, so... It says one of the GameCube's very best by IGN, so... I mean, can't be that bad, right? The disc is actually... Still a little scratched, but it'll, it'll handle it. And, like, back when it was at EB Games, it was eleven ninety nine, and I got five. So what up? Next up we got Spawn Armageddon. Show you the cover. Yeah, Spawn is a comic book hero and it's made by Namco, so that should be pretty good. I don't know. But it is complete. Black label. The countdown to Armageddon has begun has begun. I don't know. Not too bad a GameCube game. Actually, my GameCube collections pick. I probably have like, like over, over fifty. Save that one for last. Next up, this one, which is pretty cool. We got Metroid Prime. Yeah, so I don't know. Complete. It was actually, I guess, a uh, what is that? I don't know. But it was five dollars for Metroid. It's not bad. The case is kind of jacked up. Like all crap on it and stuff. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all got crap on. I have to wash it a little bit. It's kind of gross, but not a really too bad a game for um, Metroid. I mean, too bad a price for Metroid. Five dollar. Then I got Soul Calibur Two. Now I beat this game on the PS2, so now I'm gonna have to beat it on the um, GameCube. Uh, I got Soul Calibur Two. It's player's choice. And it doesn't come with the manual, which really sucks. So if you guys have a manual, hit me up. Hit me up, yo. Um, yeah. Another game by Namco. Weird. Two of them. Woohoo! Alright. Then we got Metal Arms, Glitch in the System. Um, I've seen a couple of people pick up this game, so I decided to pick it up. I've never played it before, but it's complete and holy crap, like, it's pretty thick, uh, um, instruction manual. But in this game, it looks like you can play as robots and upgrade um, to different guns like the Ripper, the Cleaner, the Toaster. And you can. Oh, this game looks actually pretty cool. So, yeah, if you can see the back of that, looks kind of cool. I don't know, this game should be fun. Then, we got some Pac Man Fever. Um, I don't know. If it's anything like the old Pac Man, that'd be kind of funny, but I doubt it is. Looks like it's a, kind of like a party game. Oh, it's a party game, okay. Maybe a party, except Pac-Man party. Another game by Namco. Weird. Namco. And it is complete. I don't know if I showed you that already. So. Then, this one I thought was kind of cool, because it's Midway Arcade Treasures. I mean, you can play old, um, old arcade games, like, uh, Defender, Paperboy, Gauntlet, Jost, um, Spy Hunter, Rampage. There's a ton. Uh, Bubbles, Smash TV, Robotron 2084, Tubin. I've heard of that game actually. Rampage. Oh no. Defender 2, Spy Hunter. Some classics on there. Not too bad. So you can read the all the games on that. And it is complete. So I think there's only one game. That wasn't complete. 
but that's not too bad. Now the best game I saved for last, I have a story to tell with it. Well, when I was doing the flea market, I was selling some stuff and this person bought the game that I'm going to show you for $60, $60 or $70. It was a crazy amount. And she's like, yeah, you could never find this game anywhere for a good price. So I was like, wow, that's a lot of money. But I found it for $5. That's Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. I got it for $5. Can you believe that? I mean, that is a hell of a deal. Pokemon. Yeah, um, it is complete. And it's got the booklet. The booklet is actually pretty thick. The disc is not too bad. She has a lot of scratches. Not too bad. Still playable. But yeah, I was I was so shocked when I found this. I was like, what? I mean, five dollars for this game. This game's like a fifty, at least a fifty dollar game. I'm guessing. But yeah, I was stoked to find this. So when I brought up this stack, I tried to make a deal with the guy, but he said no deal. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games for like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Forty bucks for it for um for eight GameCube games. Now tell me that is not a good deal. I mean GameCube games are getting harder to find. Well, GameCube games are are more sought after than PS2 or Xbox. But there are some good PS2 games as well as Xbox games. But yeah, that's my video. So until next time, this is Katie Kaboom signing out. Later.